up guys this is Kyle from KGR and I'm going to show you how I record my let's plays now all the things I'm going to show you you don't need absolutely everything but it's stuff that I recommend you get anyway and there's going to be some stuff that I have but I'm also going to recommend some other things as well so let's get into it hopefully this should be simple for you guys it may be a little long though so anyway so the first thing you're going to need is obviously a camcorder like this one um, if you're going to record face cam and you're on a budget, I recommend going on eBay and trying to look for a flip cam or a Kodak ZI6 or ZI8 because all they are is just little handy dandy camcorders. They're nothing too fancy, but they're good for recording face cam. And I remember the old flip cam I had actually recorded 60 frames a second when it comes to the face cam, and that looks pretty good. But you don't need anything expensive like a DSLR when it comes to face cam, it's not that important. But I, re I recommend stuff like that for like unboxing, reviews, and stuff like that. Or if you plan on being just giant in front of the camera, like just full screen. So anyway, get a camera. Or if you have a really powerful computer, then I recommend getting a webcam because then you don't have to export anything. Like you don't have to take out your SD card, you don't have to charge your camera, you don't have to charge batteries or anything like that. So I use, when it comes to webcams, a Logitech C920. It's a very, very good webcam. It records 1080p, and there is other webcams that you can get that like record like 720p, so that's okay. But quality is quality, and this is pretty decent. I got it for like 50 bucks off eBay, but I think brand new they're about 80 to 100 dollars, and I'm pretty sure you can't get them for 50 dollars. I just got lucky, but I think you can get them for probably about like 60 bucks. So there you go. That's my webcam. And then we got my microphone, the blue snowball, and a pop filter. And I recommend using a pop filter if you plan on being like right in front of the mic. But if the mic's going to be like beside you, we technically don't really need it. But I still recommend it nevertheless. Now, the blue snowball is actually $50. It's super cheap. And it actually does sound like decent quality. But if you have a lot of money to spend, people would recommend the blue Yeti. I would recommend it myself if I tried it. But I never tried it yet, so I couldn't tell you. But it sounds pretty good from what I hear on the internet. You know, because you have to believe everything on the internet. Okay, and then, this is optional. You don't need this. This is my Astro headset. Because here, with the mix amp, you can plug stuff in with the optical out cord. And it just makes it simple when you're recording commentary. Because then, syncing things won't be too hard. Because then, you don't hear an echo when you're, like, when you're recording your video back. Like, I remember during my Last of Us Let's Play, there was an echo all the time, and it got annoying, so that's why I finally got my Astros. Now, brand new, these cost probably around like $250, but I got mine used off, off eBay for about 90 and again, that's a really, really good deal, but I'm not sure if you can get them for that cheap, though. I just got lucky. Unless you get lucky, too. Thank Good luck. And capture cards. These are the most important things to record your gameplay, because it's the best way. Other than if you want to record with your camcorder looking at the TV, that's just a stupid idea in my opinion. But anyway, so I have two capture cards. I have the Elgato Game Capture and the Elgato HD60. Now, I use the regular Elgato just for my retro stuff and my PS2 and PS3. While with the HD60, I use that to record my Wii U, my PS4, and since I have an HDMI adapter for my Wii, I use that for this thing as well. Now, if you don't have a PS3 or a PS2 or anything retro, just pretty much everything that you have is HDMI, then I recommend the HD60. But there are some other capture cards out there. It really depends on how good your specs are on your computer. Here for this, you need an Intel Core i5 second gen or higher. But if you have a really weak computer like a dual core processor, then the original Elgato is good for you. And I remember my old computer actually had a dual core processor with only 2 gigahertz. Now, still able to run this thing at max settings, like at least with the highest quality, blah, blah, blah. And it turned out pretty okay. But I recommend having a more powerful computer because then it just makes it simple and there's no risks of like things falling apart. Because sometimes when I'm recording with my Elgato on my old computer, things would go bad. Like, like there'll be no commentary or recordings get corrupted stuff like that but there are a bunch of other capture cards out there like the Roxio I highly recommend staying away from them because they only record in 30 frames a second and now YouTube allows you to record in 60 frames a second so the HD 60 is a great choice uh, the Hallpog HD PBR 2 
if you want to go for 60 frames a second, I wouldn't recommend going with that. There's only a few capture cards that record 1080p at 60 frames a second, and it's the HD60 and the Extreme Cap U3 from Aver Media. But with that, you need a very powerful computer. Like, my laptop's not even powerful enough to handle that. However, it is powerful enough to handle this. So, if your computer's eh, then I recommend the Elgato. But, if your computer is complete garbage, luckily there are a few capture cards that actually allow you to record without using any PCs. Now, there is one that is called, what's it, the Aver Media Live Gamer Portable. So, the way that that works is you pretty much use the USB cord, plug it in somewhere so you can power the thing. Then you got the HDMI going in and out, just like a Aver Media, not Aver Media, but like an Elgato or something like that. And then here when you record, it records to an SD card strictly. While there's a Hop Hog HD PVR Rocket that almost does the same thing. It's pretty much as simple. You don't need any computer, but it records to a flash drive. So depending on which you prefer, SD cards or flash drives, I'd recommend the Aver Media Live Game Reportable or HD PVR if your computer is complete poop. But if you have a decently powerful computer, I recommend the Elgato HD60. Now this is my laptop. You're going to need a computer in order for you to edit these videos because it's not going to just automatically face plant you into the gameplay. It's how it works. So my laptop has an Intel Core i7-3630QM with NVIDIA GeForce GT 650M uh, GPU, 8 gigs of RAM, 500 gig hard drive. Like, you don't need too much space. But when you're recording like with the Elgato or pretty much, pretty much anything like high definition capture cards like that, the, the file sizes can be a little big, so I don't recommend having like an o only like 80 gigs on your hard drive. That's a bad idea. Have at least 150 maybe, but you don't have to keep all your old recordings. I'm just saying, like, have plenty of space when you're recording, because this thing sucks up a lot of recording. Like, it records a lot of your hard drive space. Blah 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 blah. I don't know how to talk. All right, and here with the the Elgato, you do need to have a TV with HDMI or else you're screwed. And I know with the Aver Media Extreme Cap U3, you can only play on your monitor. So, like, you have to play directly off your computer because here there's, like, no latency or something like that. I don't know. It's it's something. But there's a bunch of capture cards out there. I recommend the HD60. And now we pretty much got to set up everything. I recommend getting some lights. Like, I recommend getting at least, like, two or three. Because then you can have like one on each side of your face. So then you're pretty much lit up and good to go. So that's fancy dancy. And if I remember, I will show my South Park footage. And as you can tell right here, my face isn't lit up all that well. While you see with my new Let's Plays, you actually see that I'm decently lit up. And you can actually see I have chroma key set up. That's pretty much green screen. So there you go. If you want to use a green screen, get plenty of lights. Get at least, yeah, like two or three. And when it comes to light bulbs, it really depends on what color tones you prefer. Like, as you can tell by this color tone, it actually looks pretty clear, pretty white. I use natural light bulbs. Uh, I think they're equivalent to 100 watts. I can't remember. But it does make your room look awfully pretty. Like, if. If you're going from regular light bulbs to these, it is going to take you a little bit to get used to the colors. But once you're used to it, it looks absolutely gorgeous. I highly recommend natural light bulbs. You can go into a Home Depot and for Lowe's, and they should have a thing set up like showing off what light bulbs look like, like how the color tone is. And I actually show them live too, so it looks like you can actually see light bulbs in hand and how they like how they're lit, and it just looks really good. So I went with the whitest always go for white lights but if it says white light on the light bulb go for natural light they're the best in my opinion so anyway um, I'm gonna set up everything and I'm gonna show you how I do my recordings alright so now we got everything set up we got one light over here and then we got one light up there now up here this is a clamp light I like using these because in case I don't want to have so many lights set up and I'm just done with recording I don't need this light to light up my room so luckily it just clamps right up here and then when I'm done with it I can just store it down here when I'm not using it so there you go doesn't look too bad and I also should mention if you're using the Astros 
I recommend using them because here they have optical out so they plug the optical into your console and then you can mute your TV and listen to your game but nobody explained this to me when I was getting my Astros here as I said earlier the Astros used optical out but when you have it set up depending on how you actually go into your settings you can have it set up so the sound goes out both the HDMI and the optical out so the Elgato or other capture card you have will record game audio and still be able to go through to your Astros so then you can mute your TV so you can still hear your gameplay through the headset but the mic won't pick up the gameplay from the TV so there won't be an echo and that is really important an echo is annoying and it's not good so anyway so here is the Elgato setup all right so we're gonna record at 1080p at 60 frames a second now when you're recording your gameplay you have a live commentary button so that makes your job a little bit easier however in my experience the Elgato does not want to be in sync like when you record with live commentary here you have to I recommend exporting them as separate files because luckily you can do that now and you can have it set up so it's more in sync because here I think it's about point twenty yeah point two hundred seconds off I can't remember like point two seconds let's just go with that it's a little bit off but luckily you can fix that in editing so when you're about to record when you press the record button have the live commentary set up I, re I recommend going like left or like right left right left because then you know if it's in sync or not and then once that's set up you just edit that crap out and then you just pretty much start the let's play so when it comes to lighting only have lighting in front of you if you have lights behind you it's gonna pretty much make a silhouette of you and it's just not good it pretty much just blacks you out while everything else around you is gonna be lit it's just not a good idea so only have lights behind the camera facing you not behind you there you go and here if you're gonna use a Logitech C920 I recommend that because here you can actually use that on a tripod which I have set up right here so it's super sexy if you're gonna use green screen there's a few things you want to set up you can see me hey how you doing all right first up you want to turn off autofocus all right and then when you go into the advanced settings turn off the auto white balance because for some reason the white balance doesn't want to act right so when you try to do the green screen it ends up like not being right and it just doesn't want to work properly so I recommend having the settings at least when it comes to white balance about up here so then the green screen works perfectly fine and then you got your gain and exposure um, if you know how to set it up correctly then you can turn the auto off I only have it set up like this so when I do like live streams over OBS like it's my broadcasting software right down here then green screen just looks a lot better so anyway yeah so there you go here the Elgato also has a feature called stream command so it can record your face cam like with a webcam and stuff like that personally I don't recommend using that because it doesn't work all that well and besides the quality is absolute garbage now like at first it did work pretty well with the newest update they pretty much got rid of the quality it's so poop that's why I recommend recording the gameplay and then recording your your webcam on a separate software but when you're recording the Elgato, I recommend this button. Luckily, with the newest update, you can actually turn off your display. And when you, it's like it pretty much uh, gets rid of the previous screen, and that stresses your CPU a lot less. So recordings go much smoother. I recommend using that button. So that that's what I recommend if you have an okay PC. But if your thing's complete poop, just go with the portable stuff, so that, so you don't even need a computer to record it. So anyway, um. I'm gonna record my gameplay. I'm actually gonna legitly record part two of Little Big Planet 3. And if you if you want to record PS4, you have to go into the settings because here, if you just plug it in straight up, it, you're not gonna get a signal. So when you have this issue, you go into your settings, and then you go to system settings, I believe. I don't know, it's somewhere in here. Yes, yeah, system. Then enable HDCP make sure that's marked off because HTCP it's just coding and it pretty much just blocks off the signal so there you go so yeah guys I will be right back I'm actually gonna record my part and then I'm gonna show you how I edit it alright ladies and gents now I'm done recording my let's play but before I go into 
editing and stuff like that. Let me show you how all this stuff works. All right, so first up, when it comes to my settings, these are how I have my settings set up, whenever it wants to load. Come in. Um, okay, I guess I have to turn my PlayStation back on if I want to show you my settings, I guess. I don't know. No, never mind. Good. All right, so I have it set to PS4, and then the color range I have expanded because it makes the color, colors look prettier. I have a 1080p, allows 60 frames a second. There's a quality bar. I have it all the way to the top. And then this crap right here. You can actually uncheck the this. You don't need to do that. Anyway, then if you want to mess up the coloring and stuff like that, there you go. I personally recommend doing it, but fine. Then press OK. And then, let's go into the actual settings up here. And then when I'm editing the video, I'm not going to actually have it on screen like this. It's going to look a lot better. But, anyway, when it comes to this... Alright, when you go to the sharing tab, have it set up so it exports the live commentary. Because then you can sync it up a lot better. And then, when you go to export your video, use the mp4 part because then you can edit it a lot easier and stuff like that and personally I don't recommend using movie maker it's it's kind of garbage in my opinion but if you want to upload like your gameplay directly to YouTube and Facebook there you go and the editing software in this is <laughs> barely editing at all all it is is just trimming the beginning and back that's all it is so anyway um after this is done exporting I will come back and I'll actually record the screen so you can see how the process goes. All right, so now let's get into the editing process. Now, when you export your commentary from the Elgato, here it ends up being an M4A. Now, I think with the Avermedia Extreme Cap U3, it ends up being an MP3, but whatever. For those who are using the Elgato, what I recommend doing is downloading Audacity, because then you can also use it for other stuff like post commentary or anything like that. Boot it up. And then we're going to hop into our videos folder. Then we're going to grab our commentary. Just simply plop it in here. But before we do that, we actually... Well, I don't have to do it, but if you don't have it already, go to Preferences, and then go to Libraries, and then you have to download these things. Luckily, it automatically has a link, so you automatically know where to go. And you got to install these and then relaunch Audacity, so then it can take M4As and convert them to MP3s. Now we're just going to simply throw it in and it's gonna take a little bit so I may end up doing some jump cuts later so you don't sit here being completely bored alright so now after it's done being ex imported what we gotta do is go to file and then export audio and then it just pretty much just don't rename it just keep it like this it just saves it as an mp3 and then if you're using Windows 7 or I guess anything lower than that it should automatically be right next to your let's play like your gameplay, but if it isn't, just refresh it and it should be right next to it then. Which is something we're going to have to do. So, let's refresh. And then it should be right here then. So that's going to be excellent. So I'm just going to let this export and I'll get back to you when I'm done. Alright, so after that's done, we just pretty much X out. We don't have to save it. And then we go into Sony Vegas. I recommend using Sony Vegas because it's, it's just simple for me to use. But I'm pretty sure that Movie Maker does not allow you to do picture in picture. Just look for editing software that allows you to do picture in picture and you'll be okay. But if you use Sony Vegas just like me, then you'll actually have a much better time because I'm actually showing you exactly what to do. Alright, so first up, we're going to go into our properties. And then if you want, you can copy all of this down. Uh, 1920 by 1080p, 60 frames a second, the pixel format by 8. Make sure the uh, field order is at none and all this other crap and you'll be good to go. All right, so then we're gonna take our old videos. Let's take our intro, wherever I just put that, uh, right here. Drop it in, it's okay. One day, hopefully I'll make an even better one or hopefully someone will make one for me. I don't know. But anyway, so then we take our gameplay, plop it down here. And then take our commentary, also plop it down here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into here, we're gonna right click, Go to switches and disable resample. What that pretty much does is here when you're recording your gameplay, sometimes there's a little bit of a motion blur when you're doing it in Sony Vegas and it's just not good. So we're pretty much getting rid of that motion blur. So that's good. And then here I have a color secondary color correction. 
so that's good. Okay, this BCC stuff, this is all extra stuff. You have to download that on your on your own. I forget what it's called. Like it's like Boris something continuum or something like that. I can't remember. And we're gonna go to the secondary color correction. And then go to YouTube. And then this is what you should jot down and save it. Cause then it makes the colors look so much better. Like look at the preview. Before, after. A little prettier. There we go. Alright, so right here I have it so it's saying up, down, up, down, or down, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up. As you can tell, it's not really in sync. But I've been doing this for a little while and I realized when you zoom in a little bit, when you put it about right here, you should be good to go. So if you wanna figure out figure out where you put it. I want to say it's about half a second maybe, not even. So, there you go. So then when you check it out now, it's down, up, down, up. much, much more in sync. There you go. Alright, then we're going to take about half a second. Uh, I want to say about maybe right here. Split that and delete all this excess video because it's not necessary. And you don't have to do this every time you record a video, but... I just have it set up like that just to make sure it's always in sync. Because who knows, something may go wrong one day. Okay, let's have it about right here. Have it about right here. And then let's take these over here. Take that over here. Actually, this doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter. But anyway, let's do this. We're going to do this damage TV dissolve thing. Again, this is also under BCC, so you have to get that on your own. You don't need this, but I use it because it's fun. Alright, so then we're going to take our gameplay, like not our gameplay, but our face cam. Going to plop it down here. That's good to go. Alright, that's already set up. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it up here. First, we're going to sync it up real quick. Now, fortunately, when I record these type of videos, they end up getting out of sync sometimes. It's annoying, but oh well. Actually, no, this is not even the right video. Never mind. I'm actually wearing a different shirt. This is the video we're looking for. There we go. That's much better. Now let's get rid of this track and put that up here. I was about to say, why wasn't it in sync earlier? But anyway, so there we go. Sync it up a little bit. Uh, that almost looks right. Uh, yeah, right there sounds a little good. Okay, then let's take this back, do the transition, turn that to dissolve as well. And as you can tell, this is pretty much taking up the whole screen. So for those of you who don't want to do green screen, I recommend doing is first up we got to do the disable resample. There we go. That's good to go. Then you do go into cropping. Now make sure this stuff is unchecked and then just simply crop out your face. Now, I personally don't really do that. I like to actually have my full body in there. So, let's restore. What I like to do is we're going to mask. Mask is, I think it's only available in Sony Vegas because there's a thing called a movie studio thing. It's pretty much just like Sony Vegas, but I don't think it has the masking. So, we're just going to pretty much make a mark right here, I think. What the heck? Why can't we do our mask? I don't know. That should be set up. There you go. So normally what you would do is you would like click where you want to set your dots. And for some reason it won't let me do that. But it should work normally for you. I guess it was just a small hiccup in this. Actually, hold on. Let me try and reset the mask. And why is it that I cannot play with the masking? Hmm... I'll be right back, ladies and gents. Alright, now I got it fixed. Alright, so what we gotta do is we're gonna make a click right here. And about right here. 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 And there. That should be set. Alright, so then what I recommend doing is going into the color correction again. All the way over here. Where are you? Yeah, here we go. And then, 
saturate the greens. Then it makes doing the chroma key look just so much easier, trust me. Now, if you have Sony Vegas by default, there is a default chroma key you can use in here, but I absolutely freaking hate it because it just doesn't work all that well, in my opinion. Like, it should be chroma key here. Let's see how well it works. Right, first up, we're going to grab this. Huzzah. As you can tell, look, it's it's not good. Then you got to mess with these and mess with that. It's just a nightmare to work with, you know? So I recommend getting away from this and then download the BCC stuff. Go BCC9. And then, whoops, I didn't add it. Chrome key, add, and then okay. All right, and then I have a default setup. So what I like to do is go to chroma key, then look for the color. And most of it's done. And then lightness turn up all the way. So there you go. But I always have it saved like this. So there you go. That's sexy. I mean, look at that face. It's so sexy. All right, so then we got to just we can't keep it there we gotta do this what we can do is we can shrink it down do whatever we can move it all over the place but I already have a map set up so it's already set up right there and you can put it whatever corner you want except like if you're doing green screen like this and I recommend staying in the bottom corners but luckily PewDiePie and other people even Ali A they have a good setup where they're not doing green screen well, actually, I think uh, PewDiePie is doing green screen now, but Ali A, for example, he just does regular face cam, so he can actually have himself wherever he wants, which is actually a really good idea. But green screen is more fun to play with, except when it goes wrong. And sometimes, unfortunately, it gets out of sync a little bit. Like, if you check in the beginning, okay, everything's in sync, it looks okay. But as you saw earlier, when we go back here, it gets out of sync. So, this is what I hate about recording these Let's Plays, because you always have to babysit the video throughout the whole time. Because it gets out of sync, and it just turns into a mess sometimes. You just pretty much gotta watch what's going on. This can take sometimes upwards to like a half an hour, or sometimes it ends up being super quick. Like right here, it looks a little out of sync, but when you turn off like this audio I usually get rid of all this this whole bar when I'm done you can barely see a difference but I still want to make sure it's decently in sync you know okay this looks like it does need to be touched up a little bit so we just take it back a tiny bit and then fit do that and then when you watch it you barely actually see anything okay then just keep going I recommend checking like the gaps like check in between the gaps and then that's probably where the delay and stuff for like the out of sync starts happening so there you go now let's check here okay good check here okay good check here looking good still then this stuff there are some cutscenes I that I have set up like hold up like, this is a cutscene. And luckily, if you don't talk during a cutscene, you can see there's a giant gap. So then you can cr crop yourself out if you want to. Or what I like to do, most importantly, just cut the commentary. So in case you ended up, like, moving your chair and it squeaks, it just eliminates that problem. So, let's have it about right here. Okay. Let's do it right here, and then let's take it about right here. Let's cut it here. Oops. There we go. And then do that. So, yeah, you're actually watching me edit a video. So, there you go. Whoops. Something happened here. I don't know what this is. Hmm. I don't know what I did here, but fine. It should be okay. Then let's go back into this. First up, let's make sure it's in sync. Okay, it isn't. So let's take it back a little. Mm, right there, it looks kind of good. Okay, then let's 
plop it about right here. Let's go down, click down here, because then when you press S, it splits all of it. And then go about up here, and luckily that's automatically activated. So let's delete that, delete this. And what I'd like to do is add another audio track. So then, I can drop this down here, and there we go. And I actually noticed, for some reason, it got rid of all my commentary. So, yeah, we need to go back a butt quite a bit. What the heck? Come on. There we go. Now we can get rid of this. That's already good. Okay, let's split that. And let's drop that down here after we remake our new audio track. There we go. Because I'd like to turn the cutscenes up a little bit. Because I have the gameplay itself turned down a little bit. So there we go. That looks about good. Okay, let's zoom in all the way up here. Okay, it does get out of sync. But the question is, where does the out of sync start? Okay, it looks slightly out of sync right here. So it probably started somewhere up here. It's right here, a good bet. Nope. What about here? Nope. What about? Nope. Nope. Like this is what I have to go through every time I edit a video. It well, at least not every time. Like just the let's the let's plays. Every time I edit a let's play, this is what I go through. It's no fun. So for those of you who are actually sticking to my channel for a little while, when I said I wanted to quit doing let's plays because I had to do this. Yeah. Now you know what I go through. Okay. Now nah, I don't think that's it. Hold on. Undo that. This. This is where we want to fix it, I think. No, it still looks slightly okay. Hold on. Like, it's tough to guess because then sometimes if you make it, like, too soon, then it looks like the commentary is slightly coming before your lips. It's just. It's just not fun to guess it, you know? This cannot be a good time sometimes. Hmm. What happens when we try to fix it? That looks really good. Okay. Okay, still looking in sync. Alright. Um, what happens when we jump all the way up here? Does everything still stay in sync? Yeah, looks about right. Yeah. What about up here? Hmm. It's okay. Yeah, it looks okay. Yep, then there's cutscenes. You know, what, I'm probably just going to cut it about up right up here. About right here. Then do that but unfortunately I still got to do transition TV dissolve there we go all right right here it looks a tiny bit out of sync so we gonna split it right here um, actually, no, it looks okay. It looks okay. Doesn't look too bad. Okay, then bring that forward. And then delete, delete. Now, it looks like it gets out of sync again. All 
Right, this is where the madness starts. Okay. There we go. Much better. Starting to get out of sync again, I think. Yep. Yeah, this this is annoying. I hate this sometimes. Nope. Hmm. Trying to figure out where it gets out of sync is annoying. Right there looks about perfect. There we go. Alright. Uh, get slightly out of sync here. Uh, looks a tiny, tiny bit out of sync. I think it'll be okay. Okay, it seems that there is a bit of a cutscene here. So I'm trying to get to that. There we go. There we go. Right here looks good. Delete. Delete. There. And look, it's getting out of sync again. I don't like that. Mm, okay, up there looks good. Right here, it looks eh. Right here, it starts to look bad. Alright, so let's fix that right here. There we go. Here it looks okay. There we go. And this is a cutscene. Yep. Let's cut it right here. There we go. So we're almost done, almost done. Resync it about right here. Okay, let's cut it right there. Boom. Then delete all that. That. Drop this down here. Then we're about at the end of the video, but it does look like it gets out of sync again. Hmm, I need to figure out where it happens though. Let's say it happens about right here. Nope. No, I think it actually looks okay. 
let's check right here. Now let's fix it right here. That's just where it all happens. There we go. That's much better. All right, looks like we are about done. Then I like to go about half a second right at the end of the video. So right here looks okay. Then we split everything. Get like get all this gone. And we do have to grab a video quick. Like we have to grab a video to say, oh, I'll see you guys next video. And then I say, oh, check out another video. And now we got to grab that video. And I'm going to grab Naruto Generations Part 2. So we simply just got to scroll down. There we, do there we go. Let's just download this MP4. And then while that's downloading, let's start getting the outro ready. First up, let's actually get rid of this audio track. This is the one from the webcam. We don't need it. Actually, they're both recorded with the, the what's it, the blue snowball. So it doesn't matter which one you get rid of, to be honest. As long as it's all in sync, you'll be okay. Hmm, which outro, where is it? There we go, outro three. And it's all technically the same thing, it's the same music. It's just that it just has different fonts and different stuff like that. Okay, then you want to disable and resample this as well. Even though it technically it's just a still picture. But when it fades out, sometimes it has a little blur. It's poop. poop aroni. And then we're going to grab this border. As you can tell, it's a square. So what I'd like to do is sling it up here. Go to maintain aspect ratio, uncheck that, so then it's a rectangle. And then I already have a preset thing, so it's right there. Okay, then we're gonna go up here, we're gonna take this all the way over here, and then we gotta figure out when the outro ends. Right here. So then we just pull that right there. And then keep that line there, pull it down. And the outro is, I mean, uh, the Naruto part is done downloading, so we just drop it down here. Then we get rid of the commentary. Move this up here. Now I just gotta figure out where in the video I want it to play. And right here looks okay. So let's put that right there. And then split it right here. Delete all the excess stuff. You know, do the simple disable resample. And then we gotta resize this. To another vid. And there. Then we just simply save it. There we go. Oh, and also you do wanna be able to export all your stuff. So when you do, you wanna highlight all of it. Gonna take a little bit. There we go. Okay, once it's all highlighted, uh, also I recommend going into the options, go to preferences, and then there is a thing where you can have the GPU acceleration. I highly, highly recommend you turn this off. Sure, you get faster render times if it's on, but then sometimes for some reason it ends up like just stopping the render at 99%. So, anything related to the GPU. It'll stop at 99%. But then you want to go up here to render as. Then it takes a little bit. And if it takes this long, then that means after the menu boots up, you want to go out and go back in. Because here, it ends up saying this media offline, as you can tell. And it turns the display black. And then when you render it, sure, the video runs extremely fast. But then you check it, it's absolutely blank and stupid. So... You go out, click on uh, Vegas as a whole about up here, and then just simply go back into it. So then it boots up super fast again. And then, what well, I recommend going into main concept with the MP4, go all the way down here, click any of them, probably like internet 720p or 1080p, and then you just customize it. So then I have this custom template. So it's 1080p. Uh, profile main, 60 frames a second, all this other crap. If you want to 
copy this down by all means go ahead and then the project just have that at best and then depending on how your frame rate is you can either have it 720p or not just frame rate like this is 60 frames a second you can have it 30 frames a second if you want to but when it's let's plays i recommend 60 frames a second because then it looks a lot cleaner that is if you record in 60 frames a second if you record in 30 frames a second render in 30 frames a second but anyway, if you want to have it in 720p for some reason, 720p is right here as well. There's two different 1080p's. Do the 1920, not the 1440. So anyway, keep that. And if you want to save it, by all means, go ahead. And then you just name it and then render it. Then it, you just let it render. It takes some time, but then when it's done, you're good to go. So that's pretty much how I do my videos. So there you go. And I hope this helped you out. And if you have any questions, let me know. And hopefully I can help you out. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you saw, then like, comment, and subscribe. And next time, I'm going to be doing some Let's Plays. As you can tell, I will have this guy uploaded. But now, I got to edit this video. So yeah, guys, I'll see you guys next video.